Welcome back. I'm back at the RV. I'm gonna look at their AC. I just fixed their AC. Problem, problem was the park was dragging the system down. The starter wasn't starting. So, and plus the air cleaner was, was everything was dirty. So she's running good. She's happy. I didn't charge her much because I was already in the park. I did charge her though, but I went easy because I was already here. It's like 95 out here. I put the I put the golf cart in the back, and the guy goes, "Hey Ross, you want to drive that to Georgia for me?" I said, "All right." So I'm tying this down really, really good. This thing's gonna like stick off here. See, I don't. I'm not a big fan of uh, that sticking out four or five inches, but hey, it's all that's all I can do. Put the ram here. Put some straps, and I am sweating, guys. I emptied the black tank because it smelled. It's not just get in and drive. You know what I mean? It's three hours and get in and drive. But Heather's with me. Let's open the front awning a little bit. So the slide is in. I'm gonna cut some two by fours and lay them up there, two by sixes, just so it doesn't kick out in the top, just for safety. And uh, everything else is going good. The problem is, is the jacks, I got the jacks up, but the hydraulics leaking a little. I had to get two caps for the top, and one of the caps isn't sealing right. So instead of taking it off and getting sprayed full of fluid, I'm just gonna drive like that. Because this has, this has air brakes, all that is for is the slides and the jacks. And there's a safety mechanism, like a, like a um, check valve, that the slides can't go out even if the fluid drains, so. I went over there and just fixed an awning. Look at the girls chilling out. <laughs> hey Brad, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm just gonna get my seatbelt on. The air conditioning works in this RV. And then we have the generator on. I have the generator the on. house air and the regular air. And Harvey, um, he wasn't so hot in here. Like, he wasn't so great, like, with the air conditioning. Look how big the window is. It's like, woo, we're on a, a tour bus. It's pretty cool. Because we got to the RV park, everybody was like, hey, hey, can you fix this? Hey, check this awning out. Hey, check this air conditioner out. Hey, look at this. Hey, look. Oh, we were like, oh my goodness gracious, Mavis. Doing this for a customer of ours who Ross had to fix the slide. And, um, and a bunch of other things to get the sink Ross had to fix the slide. It was basically the hydraulic arm because when it, the guy that normally uh, drops off his this big, this big rig, um, he overextended it, I guess, and um, then it broke. So Ross and another guy had to push it in, and they got it in finally. So you got the GPS program to his land address. No, not yet. So I gotta let you go because I gotta do some stuff and we gotta stop one place before we get on the road. A couple hours away from home. This is the rig so you guys see. This is the one I've been working on. The ride's pretty good. It's like a car. You hit the gas and it's gone. Uh, golf cart gets me a little worried because it like rocks in the back. The whole thing just rocks down like three, four inches. I guess that's supposed to do that. I don't know. I strapped the daylights out of it. I do not want that coming loose. So on the edge pretty good here. But I have no choice, because this thing sticks out, I gotta have it like that, so it is what it is. It's pretty tight, so these things are nice and tight. Ugh. Heather's in Publix getting some sandwiches. These are pretty big wheels, huh? 22 fives. So if you, Joseph, Joseph, you know what the 22 fives, I think that's semi, semi stuff. And the generator's on because it's so hot, it's like almost 100 degrees. We got a generator on. Generator right is right here. Can't even hear it. It's like a 10, 10 kilowatt or something. It's a big one. It's all touch button screen and it's got TVs that come out. So once you come inside and you see the girls, we had to bring the girls, you know us. They don't want to listen though. Hey. Sit down in your cage. You don't belong in your RV. It's not your RV. I put the blocks here. So in case that slide comes back, I guess we'll have something that'll stop by. He's taking a left. Taking a left, Fred? Yep, and we're having some snacks. Holy cow, you feel the bridge? The whole bridge is literally... My camera's rocking because the bridge is rocking. <laughs> this, this It's going to rock now with the Trent Semi. This bridge is just a bouncing. So Ross and I have decided that when we had Harvey, we had a lot more fun when we RV'd than like when we had Lola. Better. Class so our next here. RV will probably be a Class A. Not like this, though. Well, no, because we can't afford something like this, but we will definitely have another Class A, but not not this fancy front This is it's crazy. Bridge. Time to go. It's quiet, too. Ugh. Yo, she, she got, she's a, she got a big ass on her. Place to say about Lola. Rental 
truck. And this place is full of Class A's, like tons of them. Two super slides. That's why Ross had such a hard time bringing these in. And they run on the hydraulic arm. They don't have, these ones don't have a motor on them. So anyways, these I believe... This is fall, Fred. Look at her. She's okay. These I believe make uh, beds. And then this, I think, makes into a bed, too. They have a dishwasher, induction, I think it's convection. Yeah. There's and then the there's their TV and stuff. The broken slide. There's the broken slide. Okay. All right, so Ross has to back this guy in, and Izzy's trying to eat the chicken. They're parking them on. They're camping and eating and grilling, and grilling out. It's pretty cool. They all have 50-amp hookups. Look at the vans, guys. This place. So, he rented me a truck to go home. I gotta get a truck like this, but not a Dodge. So driving, it is 9 o'clock. What is it? It's 9.30. 9.30? We're still driving. God, we're getting tired now. We're gonna go home. We're not, it, the guy told us, a really nice guy, he told us to uh, bring the truck back in the morning, not now, so. I pity the person. <laughs> because I don't wanna go. I don't want to go all the way to Forest City and back. And we still got to bring it back in the morning. We can't wait till afternoon. But at least it's going to have to do it tonight. Yes. That was a heck of a drive, let me tell you. Six hours round trip. About six and a half. Guys, we got a truck sitting there. We're going to return tomorrow. We got a van. We got a car. And I got the work truck. It's like a car lot here. See you later, alligators.